What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life. So today I got a package and it is from Home Depot. Can anybody guess what it is? So today the FedEx man gave me a gift. The Haunted Hill Witch. 63 inches standing witch animation lights sound um, For this being such a massive prop. This is a really small box I don't have much to really compare it to <laughs> But it's it's tiny here. I got a Here's your just normal sized bucket It's a really small box and I'm like Sitting here thinking, like, this lady has, like, a huge, like, staff that comes with it. And I'm just kind of shocked that all that's in there. And you just hear all the, like, the metal bars in there. And I'm, like, sitting here thinking to myself, like, there's no way that this huge witch is inside this box. So we shall see. I'm going to cut this open. Uh, I hope I'm not upset because this was $90. It was free shipping from Home Depot, but it was 90 bucks. I just hope I'm not extremely upset with this. So let's get this bad boy opened up and see what this witch is about. All right, oh, it doesn't look like I have too much assembling here. I can hold her up by a string. Ah. She's pretty creepy looking. Some creepy hands on her. Uh, they're poseable. Man, she has a creepy face. Yeah, see, there's the staff I was talking about three part stick wow that's <laughs> not what I was expecting but okay I was expecting like a huge box with yeah it just slides together it looks like there and she holds it in one of her hands and there's Three metal poles. The center piece for the stand. All your poles stack up in there. And uh, four legs. So it's, she pretty much has the same setup as my Reaper. And these go in here to hold all those together. Here is their lineup, Haunted Hill Farm. Uh, I don't see the witch that I bought on here though. But this guy right here is my Grim Reaper that I have, which explains why they have the same exact stands. Well, they used to, so I had to remake mine. But that's what I have. This guy looks cool. Butler. I got some really cool looking ones. This this witch here is pretty cool. These ones I'm not too fond of. Talking tree man. Whoa, that's really neat. The rest of these aren't really great looking. If you're into clowns, I guess that's a pretty cool looking clown. But then they got some inflatables. That's their cast of characters. It looks like there's some other stuff. It's not pictured here. Put that in the box. Got a one year warranty. And here's your directions, which uh, shouldn't, really, shouldn't really need these. So I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna show you what she does and what she looks like all put together and uh, give her some run throughs so everyone can see what this witch does from Home Depot and Haunted Hill Farms. All right, so here she is, all set up. She holds on to that 
staff there, stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, she has, she's about five foot, pretty creepy face, but like I said, this is the whole, the whole thing here. It's just a stand, a metal bar. I was expecting something a little different, but she still looks really cool. So, but I can add some cheesecloth to her. And uh, I have some black cheesecloth so you can't really see through that. So I'm going to doll that up a little bit. The whole thing took roughly, I don't know, two minutes to really do. If that. You just cram the bars together, stick them in the little stand. And her whole upper half just sits. You just stick this box it's under her dress and under her head here a little box with her speaker um see if i can find the on off switch or something here maybe i don't know how she activates i, don't, I found the on button but i don't see the Aha! Found out why she's not working. Let's go find some batteries. Show you the true face of Halloween. <laughs> she said she makes all kinds. She makes five. It says five phrases. So I don't know if there's a sensor or what. So, there we have it. Her face is really, really creepy. And her holding on to that stick is pretty neat. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put a cauldron down here. I'm going to make one that's really awesome. Um, overall, it is cool. Sure as hell it isn't worth $90. That's a fact, Jack. Um, it is really cheap but i guess the animation to it is really cool and what she says is cool i just don't see 90 dollars Yeah, I don't know. I paid $99 for this guy, and he's huge. And that was from Home Depot, too. And his animation's really awesome. His face lights up, does a lot of really cool stuff. This was $100 from Spirit. Granted, she doesn't do anything. She doesn't say anything. But she just looks awesome. Uh, he was $170. $69 for this guy. It, you know, it's, he's, I don't know.
She is cool. She is awesome. She's going to work perfect for where I'm going to put her in the yard. I'm going to hide her like in the corner by the porch. Uh, kind of creeping out with her cauldron. And uh, maybe a fog machine behind her as she's lunging at people and doing her thing. I think she's going to look awesome. Especially if I get like a green or purple light on her. I think she's going to look really cool. But for $90, no, I don't think it's worth it at all. But she is really cool. I do like her i just don't i was expecting i guess a little more like a spirit prop i should say uh where it's a little more to it and it had a better stand to it because these are real chintzy and i can imagine like by next year i'm gonna have to make something like i did for um this dude over here he's from them too he had the same stand and he doesn't do a whole lot. He just kind of moves his head back and forth side to side. I don't know where we got him. Probably Party City or something. My wife picked him up one year. I have to definitely put some like my black cheesecloth on her. Because you can see right through that and see that pole. And I know what, you know they were trying to put as much of that cheesecloth on the front to hide the pole. But come on, man. They could at least give her a dress. Something. But she is pretty cool. She's definitely creepy. Uh, she'll scare the kids. That's all that matters. Uh, that's what it's about. So I'm going to go put some cheesecloth on her. Get her all dolled up a little bit. I was going to stop after work today and get um, stuff to make a cauldron. I'm going to make my own rather than go buy one for an astronomical amount of money. So I'm going to make one. It's going to be awesome. And then... I'd like to set her out front here soon. So that's my Haunted Hill Farms or whatever. Haunted Hill Farm, yeah. Prop from Home Depot. Uh, that's the newest addition to the Haunt family over here. So this is the last and the final prop I'm buying for this year. I'm not buying any more. I have enough. I said I wasn't going to buy much this year. I bought five six about six this is my sixth one this year uh i only wanted to buy puncture pete and like one other from spirit and i haven't seen that one available anywhere and i didn't want to pay the shipping price so i went ahead and bought this dude this big scarecrow here from home depot and then i bought twisted tina and then i bought those two scarecrows from spirit but I didn't want to get too crazy, but here we are, getting crazy. So I finally hit my limit. I'm not buying any more. I've got enough. I'm going to make this all work. She's going to go pretty much beside the, where the scarecrows are. And uh, Pete's going to go in the graveyard. And I have all my ground breakers over here that's going to go in the graveyard too. So we should have a pretty good setup. Uh, I'm getting close to what the neighbor has down the street. But I could creep her up a little more. Add some cheesecloth. Uh, I've got white and I have black, so I could add some more. Uh, I'm definitely gonna add some here on her on the front of her, kind of cover all this stuff up. But I think she'll look really good with the cauldron now. That she's got that stick. Granted, she doesn't you know move her arms or anything, which I was hoping she moved her arms, but. You know, maybe next year I'll buy a really cool one. I got one in mind that I'm definitely getting for next year, and it's going to look awesome in the graveyard. So, after Halloween, we'll get that. Hopefully, I can get a good deal on it by next year. But that is my pretty much whole haunt family over here. But I was thinking maybe I could put, like, purple lights inside of her. So she glows, I could like safety pin lights inside her. In that cloth. Go up and through her body so she kind of glows. I don't know. Just so she has like some light to her. I think it I think that would look pretty neat. Who knows? Anyway, she's the newest addition. I like her, she's creepy. She's gonna work perfect. And she's gonna look great with the rest of my guys here. And girls 
And uh, remember, like, share, subscribe. Leave some comments down below if you think she's worth it or if you think she's extremely overpriced or just let me know if you even think she's creepy and like what she does. Uh, I like her head movement. That is pretty sweet. So let me know down below what you think and uh, I will catch you on that next video. Remember, stay tuned because there's a lot more haunt videos coming we haven't even started building. So I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.